We're getting higher up the hill fort now. Like I said earlier, I was right over there near that tent. And there was a gap somewhere down there. There's like a path there. I looked up here. Right up here I was looking. Now I'm looking down there. Now I'm looking down there. From the hill fort. <sighs> Some sort of buzzard flying high or it could be a crow. Looks quiet at the moment. The temperature's gone up a bit. Oh yeah, there's those crows on that. I've got a feeling that is a Roman feature over there. Where those rooks are. I think they're rooks or, or ravens. Because they've taken control of that rock. And they're making more of a raven noise. They come on, they come from what with me, they come from Western. <laughs> no, they haven't. It's just that I've got a load of them. I feed them, you see. They go and get worms as well. But they're real scavengers. They're so cruel as well. I had to sort of partially rescue a injured one the other day and they were attacking it. They attack <sighs> injured family members. It's, it's a weird thing that, isn't it? They would eat it. They would kill it and eat it. They are scavengers. God, look at our hill fort. My goodness, look at that. Weston's Hill Fort. I went up there two days ago for part of it. God, does it look lovely from here? Looks massive. I just got to turn off and take a picture. Hold on. Right, I'm back on again. I had to stop to take a photo of the lovely Hill Fort, Weston's Hill Fort. It's so massive. So I only did little sections of it yesterday, the other day. And um, where they've been clearing some of it, the clearers, the nature has started to reclaim and then they, but they haven't chopped any trees down yet. And uh, it doesn't look too bad at the moment. The hill fort, there's a lot of lot going on there with them. Um, I mean, I've just got to tighten up the stick. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't know. I'll do it in a minute. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't do it. Um, there's a lot going on with our hill fort. We're anyway, I don't want to go on about it because I've talked about it lots over the past year. And I'm not a lot, quite a lot of us aren't happy with this trying to expose the archaeology and destroying plant life and habitats and eco e ecosystems. You know, <laughs> wanting to cut down perfectly healthy, lovely trees and destroy the soil, raking, strimming, burning. That's what they're doing over there with full council backing. I don't even know if it's allowed really. But no one can do anything. They're just doing it. So anyway, I'm making my way up. And uh, the sun's coming in and out. There is a big herd up here somewhere. I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to walk too close to them. I'll try and avoid them, of course. Now that feature over there where the ravens are on, I've got to believe, I believe that is some sort of Roman structure. I can't remember exactly until I look it up again. But it's, yeah, it's a commanding position. Still climbing up. Like I said, it's been done before and you can always look at previous videos that might even be better quality. The very early ones weren't very good because I did only add a Vivitar. 
but it was better than nothing and it was a record in time. <sighs> this, my, my present cameras are all packing up as well. They're starting to, they're so well used, but they are starting to wear. Let's just zoom into the ravens again. They're guarding that spot. They really are. They're guarding that spot. It could be where they take their food to eat. And I don't think you'll get many seagulls venturing up here. They, they fight my, the seagulls that come to my window as well. They will even take the food out of their mouth in flight. The only way the seagulls can sometimes visit and get food is if they come in a pack or a flock, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they send their really big birds and they will sometimes come in and sometimes it's the only way unless one or two were trying to sneak in you see they were trying to sneak in to get a bit of bread or whatever a chicken egg whatever I put out from oh the corn stones up again I see there is fresh, there was fresh cow pack, but sometimes the cows are in that wood, by the way. Now, if I come up around the other side, I might have seen them, see? And they might be in the wood. That's where they were before. But once they get moot, once they get disturbed, they move up here real quick. If not, they're further down, often sheltering under trees. It was amazing how quickly they moved on another, in another year when I was up here. The cows moved. They suddenly emerged from that copse there. And they were up here in seconds. Now I was going down the secret steps that way, so I didn't have to stay around them for long. But, uh... Uh, it, 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 it's cool up here, a little bit of a chilly breeze, but I'm not going to put my jumper on. That's what I call the parade down there. Little car in there. This is the very top of the hill fort here. The very top. The very top of the hill fort. There's Robero Warren over there that I talk about with the tall pine trees that stick out. They could be spruces. They stick out for miles. They are a reference point that I use all the time. I've got Brent Knoll, Crook's Peak, the, uh, the Holmes and Breen Down, Glastonbury Tor, some masts further over that I refer to. Um... There's probably one I've missed out, but uh, here we are then. Visiting lovely Roborough Hill Fort and Dolbury Fort, Hill Fort. Now, less than an hour ago, I was also down there at the start of the walk around the fort. There's a little bit of path there. I emerged from the wood there and then decided to go round that way. from the hamlet of Dolbury. Just taking in the view, so I'm going to take some pictures now and then I'm going to start my walk behind me down. Over and out. Okay, I've walked up to the fort, took some photos. I had trouble with the camera just when I needed to do some shooting of the cows because there was a big herd with and with a calf and a bloke running with a dog it was a bit hairy then my camera just went into fast shoot mode so every time I pressed the button to take a picture it would shoot about five times just like that which I didn't want it to do but I keep forgetting what the get out clause is you know in the end I had to reset it all so I've just reset it for now. I, I, I've, I've remembered some things what to do, but it, none of it came up where it normally says single shoot. 
image, you know, and it, I couldn't find that, that, that little piece. And of course, I couldn't see in the bright sunshine the camera without my glasses on. Anyway, in the end, I reset it and I've got single shoot now. Right over there, we've got the area of outstanding natural beauty. See? Over there. We've got Roe Barrow Warren in there, which is what I'm heading for. Um, I've just, a quarter of an hour of my time has just been fiddling with the camera, trying to get a single shoot back. I need to try and work out where that is for another time, so, because when I reset, it's probably changed all the settings that I'd manually done. But, I mean, it'll be okay. It'll be okay for today. It's all about learning the camera. I just couldn't find the because I, you know, without glasses, I can't read the instructions very well. It's a struggle. So when it came to reset, I thought, oh, I just reset it. It worked. Anyway, I've emerged from that copse. The other side was the hill fort, which I did want to take more pictures of, to be quite honest. But then it kept. I did take pictures, but I'm going to have about four or five images of the same thing. So it was going tsh, 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 like that. I just couldn't find the shoot list. You know, you can change it. Anyway, not to worry. Not to worry. I've got a feeling pe some people might be picking magic mushrooms up there because I've seen a load of people. I've seen people like that before when they're out picking mushrooms. Anyway, look at that lovely wood. Landscape that is. That used to be Shipham Roborrow mining area. I'll be walking up along the outside of those tall trees here, along there, up. That's the way I'm going. I'm not going over that way today, not going over there. I'll probably end up doing a walk in reverse one day where I do come that way. Somebody's quite, they're not loads of walkers, but I've seen at least seven people. This person's with a dog. So I'm just going to stop and take some pictures. See somebody walking right over there as well, actually, then. Right, over and out, over and out. Right then, I did a little detour because there's like a butterfly area all around there. So instead of getting over the stile there, I went, I had a little walk around. Then the camera started playing up again. It wouldn't, um, for some reason it got stuck and I think the other battery is still all right. So I'll try that one later. I swapped over for another battery and it still wouldn't go for a while. So I know these cameras don't like heat. And they don't like wet. So, anyway, we're, we're, we're walking down. This is still Dolbury Warren. Dolbury Warren and its butterflies. It's, it's lovely and warm now. That sun is really nice on my back. There's some beautiful little pretty flowers. I can't remember what they I don't think they're forget-me-nots, but there's something. These lovely little bunches of blue flower. Those are really lovely. You get little clumps of them, and they've got loads and loads of buttercups. And uh, lots of lovely trees over here as well. Now, just down there by that row of trees down there, there's another track that takes you back um, towards the start of the hill fort, if you wanted to come that way. So I had a few little hiccups. See, well, what I used to do is have two good cameras out with me. Now, my little one's playing up at the moment. I need to mess the small camera, which sometimes does photos for me. That's gone all weird as well. It's, it's probably all right on video, though. But it wasn't doing Zoom photos very well, and now it's not doing ordinary pictures very well. So I can't rely on that one. But... Uh, Anyway, not to worry about it. Not to worry. <sighs> it 
It's a lovely day though. Lovely day. Not no one hardly anyone out. I passed one man with his dog. You can emerge from over there. There's a another way round where you can walk all the way around the butterfly area if you want. There's also places down right over there I've been down before. But there tend tend to be cows in a field down that way. I discovered once. But you can sort of walk through that all round there as well. Anyway, just a small video. There's clover, buttercups, little tiny white flowers, look. And these lovely little clumps of blue. Aren't they lovely? I really must get a little book. Just a little handbook that I could bring out with me so I could identify some of the plants that I might have known as a child but have forgotten. I find that. I used to know all the birds once. <sighs> and uh, things like that. I know the basic ones. Right, over and out.